very often in that chat that the, the prisoners in here would get drunk. And uh, I asked a guy one time, I said, how do you get alcohol in here? He said, we make it in here. I said, we got to be joking. He said, no. I said, what do you make it out of? He said, potato peelings. He said, we're peeling potatoes in the chow hall. We save the peelings and and uh, we ferment them and, and we got alcohol. We get drunk. It's a release. And they called it uh, squawking. Squawking. Alcohol has been brewed in prisons all around the world. Every institution has its own name, ranging from prison wine, juice, jump, raisin jack, orange jack, brew, hooch, bruno, chalk, buck, to the old Idaho penitentiary squawky. Why squawky? The name may have derived from inmates squawking like birds once they got a few cups in. Inmates of the old pen grew their own fruit and vegetables, prepared their own meals, and even had a canning plant outside the walls where they could collect ingredients. Bruin Squawky does not require expensive equipment or high-quality ingredients. Using just a few items around the house or the prison yard, you can brew your own batch of Squawky with an alcohol content as low as 2% or as high as 14%. Fermentation requires sugar, yeast, and time. Fermentation is a process in which yeast converts sugars into alcohol, carbon dioxide, and a variety of flavors. The process can take from 10 days to several months. Crafty inmates using stolen apples, oranges, grapefruit, prunes, or any plant with an abundant source of sugar can mash the material together into gruel. The materials are put into a garbage bag, a toilet basin, a bucket, a rubber boot, or any container that will remain undisturbed while natural yeast attracts itself to the sitting vat. Add sugar and flavorings to increase the alcohol content and improve the overall taste. When the yeast finishes converting the sugar into alcohol and dies off, the brew is ready to drink. Strain out the pulp with a sheet or a sock, and you have a rotten, bile-flavored concoction ready to gulp down. Let's get squawking. Where was it brewed? The trusty inmates working in the dining hall had wide access to scraps, pots, pans, and even 55-gallon barrels. Oral histories reveal that a majority of the squawky was found in basement rooms in the dining hall. Inmates caught with it in their possession would be sent to a punishment house or removed from their jobs. To avoid the smell, some ingenious inmates would mix the brew with other drinks, as Charlie Griggs explains in this 1987 oral history. I remember a time when the inmates had Kool-Aid in a machine, and they were coming in, and boy, you could see the next one come in, and he'd get a cup. And he'd go to the table and he'd drink it. And it was in the hot summer month. Uh, I just happened to think, well, something's wrong. Because this one guy, he started getting real sick of speech. His tongue, he was slurring things. And I said, all he's been doing is drinking Kool-Aid. And I said, that's it. I turned to my buddy. I said, the Kool-Aid is squawky. And I poured a glass of, uh, drew a glass of Kool-Aid. And I, I smelt it. Stuck my finger down in it, put it in my mouth, and it was institutional squawking. Brewing alcohol in prison continues to be a form of escape for inmates and a menace to correctional officers. Remember, drink responsibly and don't get botulism. Very important. I think I'm ready for a little drink here. 